Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Council Plays Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition, version 1.48. Uh, if you didn't catch the uh, last time we recorded, we played as uh, Blue Baby, and as you can see from our Isaac with the D6, we were successful in beating both Mom and Mom's heart. So uh, I've actually been looking forward to getting the D6 for a while, and I'm pretty happy with what I've done. Ah, wow, not a good way to start off. <laughs> and take a full heart of damage early. No, I'm, I'm very uh, pleased with what's happened. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. Uh, the D6, of course, is an item that allows me to re-roll, um, uh, pick up items that I find, um, including boss rooms, deal with the devil, uh, shops, etc. So, um, a really good item, uh, which will become very, very useful as we try to get further and uh, more damage further into the game to get a key. We'll try to go ahead and blow this up in case this is a secret room. It also gets six cents on the left there. So it wasn't, but we did get six cents for a bomb, which is a pretty good trade. Just looking for that item room. We are on the basement one, so it's not an XL floor or anything. Looks like it is actually above us, the secret room is, so that wasn't a bad guess since it could have been below us. And, uh, hmm. Go ahead and start just firing to our right here, see if we can't kill these guys before they get over to us. Looks like that'll be the name of the game here. Um, it'll be nice to be able to use red hearts, like my past five games have been as Blue Baby. And uh, if you didn't watch them, not always the, uh, the greatest games that I've had. We had some pretty, pretty lackluster uh, items to begin with, uh, not the greatest play. Although my first, my second attempt, I think, was what it was. I just got absolutely screwed right off the bat. So kind of a kind of a long, kind of a long room there. We can get a half a heart, and we'll come in here. And the yum heart, we don't want it, so we'll tr trade it into Harlequin Baby. So that's what it does, as you can see there. Got a pretty pretty cool item. I'm really looking forward to using it. And we haven't beaten uh, Shoal with uh, Isaac yet, so it gives us an excuse to play Isaac for the next couple of games, just kind of abuse the crap out of this D6 we've gotten. Hopefully it doesn't make the runs too repetitive. So we got Monstro here. So Holocaust Baby is hopefully going to be able to help us dish out quite a bit of damage here. Uh, indeed, it looks like it's helping out quite a bit. So yeah, I almost have a triple shot-like feature right now, uh, because he does fire two shots in the uh, or the, or the uh, diagonals off of me while I shoot straight. Really quick use of him. Um, I kind of wish I had the D6 charge, but I don't really want the speed upgrade, but that's okay. We'll head down to the next floor. And uh, let's move along here. Try to find the item room as quick as possible. So we can uh, get the D6 recharged in case we get multiple bad items in a row. Basement 2, don't want that room, it's kinda shitty. Got these uh, flies here. Jumping fellows, take them out. Got the key here. And we did find the uh, item room, so we'll unlock that right away. Set here, bring us up to 7, we'll come in here. And I uh, don't want the anarchist cookbook whatsoever, so we'll re roll it to. Uh, We'll go ahead and pick up Brother Bobby, so we're just going to roll on a bunch of uh, familiars here. Let's see what happens. Seems like a pretty cool thing. And then we did find the boss room early, too. So we'll be able to run in there and do that. And if there are any more uh, rooms to get the... Uh, if there are any more rooms to get the uh, D6 recharge, we could actually use two D6s on this floor alone. Which could be really cool when we got our second key. We'll go ahead and fight him right now to see what's in here. We got ourselves a blue Larry Jr. Cool. We'll just try to do as much damage to him as possible right away. And we are tearing him up. This little, uh... <laughs> already dead, that's awesome. We got a little swarm of familiars here just pecking away. Doing some pretty good damage. And he's down. Uh, we have dog food, which we do not want to trade. We'll go ahead and check out the deal with the devil, see what's in here. Uh, Brimstone or Spirit of the Night? And we will trade for Spirit of the Night will give us flying and spectral tears, so we can shoot through objects, which will be really useful. Um, allow us to fly over and open this chest and whatnot. So, wow, nickel already. So we will definitely check out the shop here. 
already a really strong start for us. I'm really liking the items we've gotten so far. He's with a little bit of health. Uh, okay. Mom's purse? Sure, we'll go ahead and grab that, which gives us more trinkets. And we'll go ahead and grab the spirit heart as well, so dump us down to no no money, but if we can start finding some trinkets, you know, get a, uh, a cancer or something that put us in really good shape, then we'll go ahead and just uh, fight into this room here. Just a bunch of damage. By that I mean a bunch of little damage. But I'll take it. We've got a bunch of bullets all over the room. Should be able to kill him hopefully pretty quick. We get our sense here. As you can see with the spectral tears, we can just shoot right over and kill him before he's even gonna be a challenge for us, which is pretty awesome. Grab this and see what's in here. Sure, we'll go ahead and open this up. We got a pill, we'll grab it at the end of the fight, so we don't get caught with our hands above our heads. Take that guy out, and get this guy as well. The third fight is going to be these little meat dudes. I'm not super worried. Alright, and uh, we'll go and use this, find out what it is. A uh, bad trip, so did lose the spirit heart that we spent five cents on earlier, but not a horrifically huge loss. And we'll just head on to the next floor. And there we go. So a pretty good series of rooms already. Uh, we can just shoot over this middle if we want to. Finish the rest of them off now that we've whittled them down a little bit. We've got a scent here. That, this flying's gonna be really useful as we go along. Um, I was actually, I've actually been doing some research on the uh, reboot that they're gonna be putting out here. I think it comes out at the end of the year. Um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, I think, is what it's called. Um, I guess a lot of people have uh, you know, done some interviews with Edmund McMillan, the, the uh, guy who made it, and uh, it's been interesting listening to his thoughts on you know what he wants for everything and whatnot. And uh, he did come out and say that he thinks there's too much flying in the game. So the thought right now isn't that we're going to see uh, flying items taken out. There's probably just not going to be any new ones in the uh, the uh, next... Oh god, I forgot I couldn't hide over the, uh, the rocks there to survive. So yeah, I'm just keeping a steady stream of damage on here. And uh, we can't be hurt by his creep because of the flying. Flying's really... Underrated by me, um, I'm actually kind of. Oh, I took damage anyways. I've actually been really kind of changing my opinion on it lately. I used to not think it was that good, but the more I play it, the more, the more I use it, the more I realize it's pretty awesome. Yeah, we're not gonna trade that health upgrade. That's that's awesome. Um, we could use with some more damage though. I do realize I traded brimstone, which is a pretty good damage upgrade, but I kind of like pure tier runs um, a lot of the time. That could just be me though. Oh. Try not to dodge into some enemies. Um, there's not much I'll trade the uh, D6 for in the beginning, anyways. As we go on, it becomes more and more likely I'll trade it because having a good space item can really secure the end of a run. Just get you through some tough, tough rooms. If you didn't watch that Blue Baby run, um, I got some excellent use out of the Book of Shadows, and we have a uh, Ultra Pride. So this is going to be unfortunate. I really don't like this boss. If we can kill his little hipster lady first, I think we'll be in a lot better shape, so we'll try to do that right away. Oh, as we take damage. Cause, oh, then we'll just face check more. So now we've just got Ultra Pride, which shouldn't be too hard to do, considering we can't get hit by his uh, little vomit attack there. Oh, but he does shoot those, those looping homing shots. should be... Ah, wow, all my spear arts are gone now. That was a really bad fight for me. I don't think I can change trinkets. Can I? Nope, cannot. Okay. So we got the left hand, uh, which <laughs> I now know, thank you very much, um, the entire, I think it was a video which we go, the entire video I was talking about how the left hand uh, gave us more uh, deals with the devil, which it does not it gives us more red, uh, red chest drops. So from here on out, every chest we get will be a red chest, which I'm fine with. As you can see, there's our first one, because, uh, you know, you can get some pretty good items in there. Um, so yeah, it's... 
not super upset about it. Um, spiders. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, use that key. It was just a bad dodge. So we have a... Uh, that's either Halo of Flies or Attack Fly, which I don't want either of. So we'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and go and do the, uh, the mob trap room daily. And then we'll come back and use our... Our uh, D6 on the... So we've got a troll bomb, which is not good at all, although we can at least get it get it to kill one of the uh, guys we're fighting. Okay, is that... Attack fly or halo flies? Because if it's attack, if it's halo flies, I actually wouldn't mind picking it up. I wouldn't want attack fly though. Just finish off the second round. I'm doing a lot of good damage with all these familiars that I've built up. Right, I'm focus on you next. Ah, I'm gonna take some damage. Finish him off and take even more damage. Oh. I kind of want to hear. I'll take one more hit, and now we'll finish him. So I did that because how much health do I have in here? One full health. That's not bad. I think the way these um, spike rooms work is that if it brings me down to half a heart, it has to activate. Okay, so indeed that's how it works. We'll check out what's in here, and another left hand. That's garbage. So unfortunately that didn't work out at all for us. But okay, so that's a that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and change this out for uh the game kit. Yeah, we'll get the game kit. That's a really good space bar item. Um it's like a unicorn horn except it heals us when we use it. So I'd say that's um worthy of a pickup. At least right now. Um we already have pretty decent items to start off with, so I'm I'm not like super worried about losing, but if we keep the game kit that could put us in a pretty good situation. So like we can use that right now. That'll heal us every time we kill an enemy, I think. Or every time we kill a couple of enemies. So as you can see, that got us a, f a full uh, parts worth of healing in there, so... We get something like the Nun's Habit, and now we're at full health. So yeah, that was probably a pretty easy pickup. If we keep the item the whole time, the health is against bosses. Invincibility is nice. The damage is also awesome. Like I said, I'll have some four about times this for a couple seconds, so we'll go ahead and lay off the village for the moment. Okay, so we took damage and we will be checking out the secret room, even though it's going to cost us a spirit heart. It's going to teleport us. Well, a deal with the devil, so we don't actually have to take damage leaving, but I don't want any of those items. That's what, the Necronomicon? Which nukes floor? Yeah, I don't want any of those necessarily, so we'll just continue on. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the uh, D6 so fast. Oh well. I've got a strong start. Uh, two of hearts. That's uh, doubles how many health? How much health we have? I could use a bomb here. That'd be nice. We'll that tinted rock. Maybe get the the small rock or something. It could be useful. We also know that the uh, secret room isn't below. The uh, curse room, I think, is the actual name for it. So, that's good information to have. I did get a bomb here. So bomb, like, right here, maybe. Open a secret room? Nope. We do get one spirit heart, not what I was looking for, but not the worst either. Oh, gotta be paying a little bit of attention so we don't get hit with stupid damage. If we got, like, a... Book of Revelations, we could maybe get Beat Boy. We can just sit back here, we can fire over with our Spectral Tears. No real reason to, just kind of showing off that we can. we we'll finish off without taking any real damage, or even being in danger of taking any damage. Uh, okay, so a lot of these, uh, these guys here that we gotta fight. And the Caves Part 2. Have a really quick run this time. The addition of that D6 is really good for us. Just ensures that we constantly have maybe not great items, but you know if you have if you have two rolls of a bad item, I mean, you can still get a bad item, but your chances of getting something better than what you had are a lot a lot better off. 
this game kit probably will be pretty useful for us. Uh, we'll blow up this tinted rock to it and there's so many on this floor. And one spear of heart, so not the greatest. Let's continue to fight here. Bomb. Check out the item room here. Well, we got a wriggle worm. Or a wiggle worm, which turns our shots into this S pattern that you see. It's a pretty garbage item. Um, I won't say like the worst item in the game, but it's pretty awful. It might make it it might make my top ten list, but uh the one thing about it is every time we've gotten it we've done really well. So um Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a herald of good times for us somehow. If we get a spirit heart. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blow up some stuff. Try to look for the secret room. Which we know... We don't know isn't below us. We'll try below us here. And it was below us. So, nice. We did end up getting nine cents out of that. So we can check out the uh, shop. Oh, two, uh, two regular hearts. That's pretty good. We'll check out the shop. We will. Because um, we do have 15 cents. Uh, getting something like Nun's Habit. No. Okay. Well, we'll get the we'll get the map. It'll show us where all the secret rooms are on every floor, um, as well as the basic layout of every room. So we now know what the boss is the next room. So it'll pay for itself, hopefully, as long as we can keep up on bombs. Which, uh, you know, it's always a good thing. Bombs haven't been a super sore spot for us too badly yet. Although, in my past two runs I've had, you know, my past two recordings I've had pretty, pretty abysmal luck with, uh, actually, if I stood in this corner I could never actually take damage. So hopefully I'll be able to at least finish uh, this guy off. We're not gonna, we're probably gonna not use, oh god, he is quick. So if we just stand here, he can't do anything to us. It's like he makes those guys that spit the bullets. Every time? Yeah, every time here. Champion shove here. Oh god, he is. It's a good thing I got... I, I guess that speed upgrade in the beginning is probably a pretty good pickup. It's helped us out quite a bit. The Spirit of the Night is... I'm really learning to like it quite a bit. Pick up two more Spirit Hearts, get another health upgrade. And I think we already know what's in here. Yeah, um, if we didn't have to trade the game kit for the Necronomicon, we would have bought that. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and go up here and find the secret room after that. We have the depths, which is good. It's not the uh, Necropolis, which is what I usually get. Maybe we'll be able to blow up one of these bomb flies against the... Uh, oh god. If we get one of these bomb flies and blow up, we can save ourselves a key so, or a bomb, so that's what we're going to try to do here. Uh, start killing this thing in the right spot. Nope. Okay, not close enough there. Go ahead and start firing. Ah, oh, not close enough either. Guess we got. Ah, oh, and the last one was an uh, bomb fly. So we failed on pretty much every level here, but I don't know. We'll probably get something good in here. Hopefully, not a. Uh, Ah, oh, great, that's not bad. We actually will fight Greed, and we'll go and use the game kit. Make this fight really easy. And, uh, yeah, so... Just get a bunch of money from Greed, get another... I'll get my key back. Not back, but... No, that's, that's a pretty good pickup. Basically, uh... Oh my. I probably should have taken damage there, not quite sure how I didn't. But, uh... I'm just trying to kill one or two of these guys off, by the way. Uh, we could use another bomb to get to that uh, tinted rock now, because we only have one of these jumping guys left. Hopefully he'll die pretty soon. He does, and two bombs. Couldn't have asked for much better. Go ahead and blow up this. Uh, one key for a bomb at this point. Eh, it's actually not a bad trade. We have the uh, item room above us. And we'll go ahead and go in. So, we do want that battery, because if we could get the uh, game get charged, especially on the later floors, That'd be really useful for us. Definitely a trade I'm going to make. Keep 
far away here that guy somehow snuck out. It's keeping the game floor available like every other every other room or every three rooms would be really useful. And uh okay, so we're over Halo of Attack flies. Monster Manuel, garbage. Really sad I picked that up. Grab the game kit, just take that off the table there. Um, Book of Revelations, I would also be really interested in, especially if we can uh Okay, I'm not quite sure how I got out of there. A bunch of flies bumping against each other. My brain didn't have the capacity to outthink that, so we just went on luck. And it paid off. Like I was saying, uh, maybe now if we find a library, we could get maybe a uh, Book of Revelations or something, which would, uh, if we got that battery, give us a lot of spare hearts, which would be extremely useful. We'll come down here. And, uh... Go ahead and just try to kill some of these guys. Hope that they're taking any damage. Yeah, if you can get them to land inside the rocks, they can't really do anything. So just another awesome thing about this flying that I have. Maybe I'll call this run flying is great or something. <laughs> or watch me compliment flying for, you know, 40 minutes or however long this needs to be. Okay, so we got uh, one pill which is health up. That's awesome. And another pill which is balls of steel. Wow, really good, uh, really good double pills there. We'll come in here. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out what's in here. Guppy's tail. Well, that makes more golden chests appear. But considering we have the left hand, I think it, I think re left hand forces every every chest we get to be red. So if we have more gold chests appearing, but they're red, that means that we could potentially get just a fuck ton of red chests. So we're gonna pick that up. I'm not quite sure if it works out the way that I'm saying it is, but it's possible. We're theory crafting here. And if it does, that could mean um, a lot of entertainment for all. So we'll go ahead and wait till the end of this one. Oh, got that. We got some zombies. But I do shoot through these zombies. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wish I had a uh, game kit charge for this. So we do have enough shots to where if we just kind of fire at them, hopefully we'll be able to wing them and the size of their brain and whatnot. There's nobody here, so we'll grab Guppy's tail right away. Now, got two gone. Two right down. So Wriggle Worm does do pretty decent on the side shots against these guys, but probably not enough to... Yeah, and we got another golden chest, which is a troll bomb, so fuck you. We'll continue on here. Um, yeah, not super... Uh, Watch out with everything else that's happening here. Ah, I didn't get out of the way in time. I think that was the first damage I've taken on this floor, which is just really good for me in general. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of red chests from here on out, which could be useful. You know, we can get those teleporting to the devil rooms or angel. Just in general, we could get a lot of good ones here. Try to hopefully kill these guys. Look here. Yep. Yep, lots of red chests, so. Hilarity is about to ensue. Or it's in the process of ensuing. Or... <sighs> Don't want that. I've seen that item twice on this run now. I think if we got another... Let's see, what is it? If you get three Guppies items, you turn into the cat. So, if I find another... God, I don't want to... The problem is I really don't want to, like, just tank this run. Just because... Oh, we will be able to get the, uh... Dead cat's such a bad item. So, I think we'll be able to chill out above this thing and be perfectly safe. So, once again, flying, we can also take a drink while these guys die. Alright. Get the key here. Open this. Troll bomb. Stay the fuck away. God. Yeah, so, uh, you become a cat if you get three cat items, is basically what I was saying earlier. Um, unfortunately, Nine Lives is absolutely garbage, and we've got such a strong run being built right now. I don't know if... I don't know, th there's no, there's nothing I can think of where I would want to pick that up right now. Unless, like, it was like Guppy's Tail Nail in the, uh... I'll go ahead and grab the Nine Volt. Quicker charge. Yeah, if it was like Guppy's Tail and the Nail in a deal with the Devil Room right now, I'd try it just to see if I can unlock the Guppy's uh, achievement. So we've got Monstro here. Alright, and he's doing his double jumps here. Go 
quickly to hit the fire his laser. Nope, he's just gonna keep jumping. Ow, he took damage. What an asshole. Go ahead and just uh eat him around here. See if we can get him to fire his laser beam at me. So we did take damage on the laser beam, but we did get him into his uh permanent laser beam mode, which I would say is worth it. Because we really need to be able to do this to beat him. It makes it, this whole fight a lot easier. Keep him doing this, and the rest of the fight should be pretty easy. So I'll trade that what well, happens to be our heart I did for what could have been a much more difficult fight, or at least a much more intense fight, which I don't really want. Okay, so we got Jesus Juice, which is attacks range, tears up, and I think it's damage. What am I at? I'm at three damage and I haven't picked any up, so I think I think it actually might be damage. From what I understand is it gives you half of whatever damage you have, so since I had two, it gives me one extra damage, because it's 50% added on. Um, uh, okay, I have a little problem with the audio real quick, let me fix that. Not quite sure how that happened, but I did take damage trying to fix it, so that was really unfortunate. pop-ups in the background recommend Isaac runs. So we'll go ahead and bad trip's not what we want. But we'll find out what this is. Luck up, why not? So we don't want bad trip. We will keep the two of hearts. And we'll find out what this is. Two more pills. We've got God knows only what. Luck down. So trade it bad trip. All of the bad trip pills. Yeah so this uh this guppy's tail uh, left hand is kind of a fun uh, fun little mechanic we got going on for us. There's uh, lots of uh, surprising, surprising drops. I'm at least enjoying it. Hope everybody else is. We'll go ahead and bomb our way into the secret room. Find out it's not at all what I wanted. That's unfortunate. So we'll come in here. I'm not actually sure why I'm continuing on. I guess trying to get drops. I'm trying to get red chests, I guess, because I can get red chests from any room with decent. There you go. Decent likelihood. That's cool. I'll probably keep clearing out the whole thing once we get to like Utero or the womb. I'll probably stop, because I don't really need to, you know, maybe die. Uh, and it's like, I have good damage with my familiars, but not that good of damage. I've just got pretty decent attack speed and okay damage ups. That Jesus Jesus is actually a really good pickup for us. If I could get, like, cancer or something, I would be a happy camper. We'll grab the luck up, sure. Keep that to a hearts. Um... Actually, we'll go ahead and grab one of these bad trip pills. The way bad trip works is if you're at one health, it acts as a f uh, full health pill. So that could be really useful for us later on. Basically, a full health pill. So I should actually probably just hold on to this, considering the uh, two of the two of hearts is always just going to double whatever existing hearts you have. So it's always going to be half as good as oh, I took damage there. It's always going to be half as good as a full health pill, mathematically speaking. Alright, so we found a curse room here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I might find out. So yeah, just kill those guys. Do I kill these zombies? Ah. Alright, so. <laughs> Hit him from behind our fortress is all I do here. More pills. Luck up, sure. Balls of steel, hell yeah. And uh, since we did get the balls of steel, we'll check out what's in here. We could get some good stuff. Uh, luck down. Don't want it. Bad trip. Jeez, we have so many bad trip pills on this run. And uh, we got some flies. So we took uh, took half a spirit heart for uh, the chance at more. Oh, and I just ran my attack flies who decided to suicide into uh, <laughs> into that thing over there. These fires, hope for some drops. Keep on keeping on here. We'll uh, fight these laser beam dudes. Ah, I almost dodged into that, but I didn't. So, yeah, luck up apparently turns this green. It's like a green specter here. And we've got more flies, cool. So yeah, for the most part, those uh, red chests are usually pretty decent, so it's usually nice to get them, and considering we have so many. Uh, so we have the boss room here. I really want to 
kill this guy first, don't know why. So we got a hard off here, make him fire us on this side and should be able to finish him before he knows what's up, do the same thing. And we're off to look for the item room. Hope for something good. Um, quad shot, skinny mushroom, uh, the nail, I'm not sure if the nail drops from shops or not. If you get a lot of good stuff, so we'll just go ahead and get our game kit here. It's not that this room's going to be difficult, but I really don't want to. Oh. So, if you want these guys, I just don't want to take any unnecessary damage. And, uh, as you can see, the way that the, uh, nope, don't need that. The way that the, uh, 9 volt works, it's anytime we use an item, it resets, uh, how many uses we need, uh, up to two already. So, it makes it down to, uh, uh, three rooms instead of six. Right? Well, four rooms instead of six, but once you finish the room you're on, it's, uh, three more. So, really useful upgrade for us. There we go, and we'll finish them off there. And we'll keep moving on, hoping for that item room. Or some more, uh, I don't know, maybe some more red chests, get some full health pills going on, or, uh, some health up pills going on. It could also be useful, since I know that that's an option. We also got the Joker, which takes us... Deal with the Devil or Angel Room. Let's go. Alright. Let's go ahead and get Guppy's Paw. Um, we'll go ahead and just run full Spirit Hearts here. We'll get the Game Kit again. So yeah, we'll just do this. We'll go full Spirit Hearts here. Um, why not? Let's get crazy. And then if we get one more Guppy's item, we'll be in good shape. Or I don't think I've unlocked the Polaroid yet, but if we get you know something that functions better when we're at low health, we can do that too. Get these Blast Assists. So yeah, we just gotta fully rely on our own skill at this point. Um, we were so deep in uh, Spirit Hearts that red hearts were becoming less and less useful for us as we went along, so I think that's the right call. I guess we'll see what happens here. If I found, like, Horror Babylon or something in the uh, item room, I would not be complaining in the least. We've got spiders in that chest. That's why we haven't seen spiders in a while. The chests have been pretty good to us so far. We have the bomb bag. It gives bombs. Okay. Don't really care. What's in here? Of course, the red chest. Uh, I don't think we really need the red chest, so we'll just uh, continue on here. Not for uh, fighting all those guys, anyways. <clears throat> so yeah, we're just going to head back and fight the boss now. Depths 2, that's Mom. So we're going to head back and fight Mom. It's just normal version down here. So I'm not doing a tremendous amount of damage. But we're doing okay. If we get too many guys on the screen, we can always just uh, hit the uh, game kit and start. Ah, oh, gotta watch out for moving too close to the sides there. Just want to move right and left in the middle, so we'll just try to get some damage. I think I prefer a red mom for this fight right now. Alright, so we'll go ahead and finish off that one. Try to stay directly in the middle, hopefully be able to do some amount of this crowd control without taking too much damage here. Focusing on damage. Uh, yeah, just if we have to move to the sides to stay into the uh, corners is gonna be the most important. That's one thing I always do poorly on in the mom fights. Go ahead and move the game kid right away. And keep chewing here. And we did actually run into it takes the damage there at the end, so not the greatest here. But we did do a lot of damage to mom, so that's useful. Uh, too close there. Right. Just a little bit of good stuff, and there it is. So we did get mom sealed with just the range up, and we'll head down to the next floor here, the womb part one. Um we'll go ahead and check out what's in the secret room, just in case it could be something good, I guess. Got a 
with some money, which probably won't be helpful unless we find like a judgment or something. And we'll head right. Let's see what's in here. Two bombs. Okay, we'll head up. We got a fistula here. Shouldn't be overly difficult. Ah, took some really stupid damage against those bomb flies. We should bang more attention. Oh. Finish off this. Ah, crap. And took some extra damage. So go ahead and check out what's in here. One spear, not bad. And it's gonna be a red chest, yep. So we'll just continue on here and just try to find the way out as quickly as possible. Hopefully it's done. This direction. Larry Jr., which is blue, which will give the spear hearts. Keep firing. Yeah, these uh, double familiars really helping us out with the damage. It'd be nice to get uh, another trinket since we did buy the ability to have more. But you get what you pay for, I suppose. And we did find the mom or the boss fight for this floor, so it'll be probably our last upgrade item, which we'll get. I think I will be going down to Shoal on this run because I don't think I'm having the kind of run where I'll be able to uh, eat the chest. Depending on what I get here and or if I get any spirit hearts or any uh, spirit hearts. Ah, can't do some damage there. Let's go ahead and just activate this and just chew on this tail here. Oh, we did get at least one hit in. So that wasn't bad. It would have been nice to get two chomps on his tail, probably would have almost insta given him. So just gotta keep hitting his tail, which is the weak point. And now I'm shooting behind me, which is kind of weird to... That's messing with me. Took my uh, directions reversed. I look right to fire left and look left to fire right. Top and down, or top and bottom are the same though. Taking way more damage here than I should have. I will say he is a little bit tougher than Pin though. So okay, do some dodging there. So one or two more hits and we are able to finish it off. Get the coat hanger, which is tears up, and we'll get one extra heart container going on. So and we are on uh Sure, let's go ahead and risk it. Oh, not worth it, we just took it. <laughs> Full spear art for no reason. We'll go ahead and go top first. Oh, I hate, I hate envy. Although he can't go above the rocks, so if we just chill above the rocks, he can't actually hurt us, it looks like. So we'll just do this. Get Harlequin Baby out a little bit. Yeah, now we can't take damage, so we'll just chill here for the whole rest of the fight. Or at least until it becomes a little bit easier. A little cheap, perhaps, but uh, effective. And by cheap, I of course mean a viable strategy. Okay, mm <laughs> not much to say about this, other than I really hate Envy. The fact that I have to fight a bunch of him is a pain in the dick. Whichever body part you prefer the pain being. Or at least prefer the pain being, I suppose. Go ahead and head up one, and uh, this is definitely not the way to the left, is not the way we want to go. So let's finish these guys off. I kind of wish I had a little bit more power, but I guess I have enough power would be the thing to say. I'm not, I'm not like weak, but you know, one upgrade and two tiers upgrade are not, or one, one damage upgrade and two tiers upgrade aren't really enough to do me too much justice. The fact that I have flying and uh, this armada of people with me is really what's getting me through this. Also, the uh, huge amount of spear hearts I've been able to collect, which I still are off the screen, so that's good. Bombs and bombs. I forgot we have the bomb bag, that's probably why we're getting so many bombs now. So 
I guess it is doing its job, more or less. So, it's some decent dodging, although I did get hit there. Hopefully, we'll finish it off. Yep. And we did go the right way to the boss room, so that was lucky. Though I did just take blast assist damage, which is almost unforgivable. Considering they're pretty easy to dodge. So, let's go ahead and continue on here. Fight against um, Mom's Heart, or It Lives, rather. The upgraded version of Mom's Heart would spawn slightly tougher enemies. So just gonna pound away if we can. Oh, good. This last, uh, fly here. We both start using our bombs. Oh, Monster did get airborne. I almost missed it. Keep on fighting him here. Should be going down here soon, hopefully. Kill these little juniors. Keep plugging away at the uh, mom here, or the heart. Try to drop another bomb in here. It just flies out of the way. We have too many bullets. So, we'll go ahead and activate our zombie eating device here. I was actually unable to eat any of Mom's heart, which I didn't know was a thing. Duke, Duke of Flies now, who should be really easy, considering how much we're firing. On to Chug now. Yeah, it looks like Mom's Heart is getting into the mode where I should be able to kill it soonish. Not sure how much health this guy has, though. I'm pretty sure these are like weaker versions of uh, the mini boss or the bosses, so they're like mini boss versions. At least I hope so. Or maybe it's just so late in the game that you just seem so much more powerful. So we are able to kill all those, almost all the zombies with one bomb. And it is onto its final form. Now we just have to finish it off there. We are flying so the creep can't hurt us, we just have to avoid the actual bomb strikes. Okay. And, uh, mom's down. We'll go ahead and go down to shore. And hopefully we'll finally be able to beat, um, the devil as Isaac. Although... Maybe not so much since the way this fight's going so far. Oh god, yes, over. It's looking like perhaps not so much. But we'll fight it out and see what happens. <laughs> we could just finish one of these guys, it'd be so much easier. Okay, so. And uh, we'll head right. So we've got uh, two Geminis here. You want to try to keep them on the same relative path. Because uh, I don't want to get too crazy with the dodging if I don't have to. Right. Now we just got the two uh, attached people. These guys are really slow, they must have more health or something. Should go down pretty quick. And we did get some flies. And a spirit heart. So that's good. And uh, we did pick the wrong path, as neither of these rooms are the boss. So we got our bomb, we got some spiders. And yeah, we'll go ahead and head down next and hope it's the uh, closer one. So these rooms aren't terribly difficult. 
and we got live bombs, which we don't need. Holy crap! This is a room for the MK if I've ever seen it. That could have been incredibly tough. Thankfully, we were able to get out decently alive. And we have immediately an identical floor. But we are able to hide over the top this time, so killing these guys shouldn't be overly difficult. Let's keep turning around, and I'll shoot him in the back. The little death zone right here. Dead. Flight being unbelievably helpful here. Maybe proving itself a necessary pickup every time we see it. Ah, can't believe I still took damage though. And if it's. Oh, the compass too late, man. That would have been really good earlier. Just trying to get to Satan. If we do that, we might be in a good shot. Oh god, this room. Dear lord, this room. So I might actually end up dying here. Close enough, took about four hearts worth of damage here. So we'll just go ahead and bomb our way here. Unicorn horn. Well, it does exactly the same thing, why not? We'll go ahead and bomb our way top, because it's more likely that the boss room is in one of those locations, which it isn't. Ah, and then we did die against our uh, doppelganger there. So, um... Pretty decent run, uh, you know. A little bit, a little bit sad the way it turned out, but uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, but as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.